see the guys. Damn, we y'all sponsored by vitamin water. What all that vitamin? <laughs> <laughs> we got. Then we got this. They were like, no, let, me let me get this shit all. Let me get this shit out of here, nigga. Vitamin water. I came home. Shit. What you mean since you came home? I just came home a couple months ago. Couple months ago? How yeah. long was you in there? I went and bought. I was in there like five any, five any, any time you come home is a good time, nigga. It's a celebration. Like, 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 any time is any enough time is enough. Shit, bro. Congratulations, bro. Welcome back. What's the first thing you did back? First thing I did back. Uh, what was the first thing I did? I think I, I really did. Yeah, went to go by with the fam and shit like that. My grandma. Welcome back to the podcast, the number one podcast Dang. on earth, the number one podcast in Baltimore, the twenty million dollar podcast. And today we have another episode, another banger for you, the one, the only. Should I even should I even say the name? I have to say the name. Underrated. Fuck under. Is it still underrated? I don't know, bro. We thinking about what I mean. Listen, this shit got, uh, it got big. You heard me. So it's like, I be thinking about that all the time, like, even with the Lord Chris. I mean, niggas ain't little no more. We big does right now. You heard for me? real. For real, though. Shit. But I like being underrated, though, because it, like, it drives us for real. It always give us something to go harder for. Mm-hmm. That's some real shit. We the need that. does come out on top. That's, it's a movement. It's not even just a no, simple family, word. You heard me. Yeah, though, family. Family. We, you can hear it, so you want to be up on it. You, it catches? Yeah. It's going to mainly catch you, though, because right. they you the closest to it. Alright. Yeah. But yeah, it's um, it's, it's more than a movement, for real. Like, we, we family over here, for real. Like, even if the music don't work out, we mm-hmm. still going to rock out together. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's the goal, but the, if it don't, we still we a family before anything. Then the music comes second. I, I can I can certainly say it's a it's a record. We we he he's brought. This is the first interview I had. He has a brother cameraman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to sh- shout out to Josh. Yeah, best cameraman in the city. No, for real. And shout out to that lens he got. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Uh, we, uh, that we, motherfucker get every bump on your face. You heard me? That motherfucker <laughs> you know, HD. Like, you see why they got makeup and TV now? This <laughs> with all cat. the type of cameras they Little got. Kids. But um, uh, as you can see, Lil Chris, should I? Do you want me? To, do, do you want me? To underrated, bro. Just call me underrated, bro. You heard me? As you can see, underrated did not come in by itself. Yeah. He came in with got the guys, baby with me. Joe. Got the you guys. You can introduce. I mean, yeah, you know how we coming, man. Like, got my man, Baby Joe, in the cut. You don't feel got, me? The mic is good. The mic is good. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't want no problems. You it's heard good, me? It's cool. You know what I mean? Got my secret uh, weapon right here. You feel me? My man, Young and Dre, man. Heart of a Lion. Shit. Mm-hmm. My man just dropped the project, too, for real. Tune in. Dreams to Reality out now. As well as me. We both dropped back to back. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, we same just day? Some, no, same month. Oh. Feel me? Like, we just trying to just put that shit out there. This, we've been sitting on that shit though. It's not. It's not. It's not new to us. It's old to us. So we just putting that shit out there, and they fucking with it, mm-hmm. for real. But that's how we doing that shit. We ain't holding nothing no more. We mm-hmm. held enough. For real. Before we get any further, before we get any further, I, I guess everybody watching this already listened to the album. If you didn't, you you Turn hustling in. backwards. Turn in. If so, we need. That's the first thing we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Um, you was talking about. I remember I was listening to the skit. You saying the old you and it's a, a new you. Um, I want before we start and start talking about the new you. How how do you feel like you were in in the old you? Why do you feel like you had to change? I mean, I ain't gonna say like I ain't gonna say like I really had to change. I ain't changed much, but like like when I said that statement, for I was basically saying like you can't. Nobody don't care about what you used to do. You feel me? Like it's like. Even like somebody that's in the streets for real, that's really doing dirt, like they don't want to hear about what you did 10 years ago. It's, you gotta get active again, you feel me? So it's like, I've been doing this for a minute now, so it's like, I gotta keep up with this shit. I know who I'm is, I know what my potential for real, and I know like what I did in the past, but like, it's the past for real, you feel me? So like, I'm trying to keep up with the present. And like, as far as me, I named it reinvention because it's like, like I reinvented myself for real. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm sticking to the same goal and the same game plan, but. Feel me? I just had to switch it up a little bit. Like even my dreads, just shit like that. Like simple shit like no, that. No, for real. This ain't me. I just wanted me two years ago, five years ago. Hell you no. Feel me? You know yeah, it was like this. Yeah. And then also, like I'm saying, my man, y'all in trade, you feel me? Like I got a campaign now. At first it was just me. So mm. it was like, 
feel me? That's how I, that's what I meant by that for real. Wow, that's that's so that's so great to see. That's so great to see that because um because a lot a lot of people a lot of people would say like, you know, um oh wait, wait, wait. a lot of people would say in the album that, you know, reinvention, you know, like I don't know, but it's like it's kinda like people would bring up like probably like negative stuff, you yeah. know. You know, probably like was he doing something he wasn't supposed to do back then, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, like he just talk about uh, it's more so like like my my project before reinvention was called Note to Self. So it's like uh, all my titles be just talking to me for real. Okay. I mean, like I'm me. For instance, I'm me, that's my first project. I named it I'm me because, you know, I started with school. I mean school the one two combo, Santa <laughs> Avenue, like neighborhood thing, feel me? But mm-hmm. For a minute, I was in his shadow for real. It ain't a bad thing, cause that's a that's a, he the goat the bottom of you feel me. So yes. it's like he was like my mentor more than anything. But at the same time, I still want to make my own name for real. So it's like that's why I named it. I'm me for real. You feel mm-hmm. me? Cause niggas see me like, damn, that's little Chris or something, something. But then there'd be some people like, oh, that's Scooter Man. You mm-hmm. Feel me? And I ain't really like that for real because at the end of the day, I'm my own man. You your own person. Yeah. So I named it. Um, I'm me. My first one. Then my second one was came from nothing for real. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Cause like I'm from a small block, Sandtown, Winchester, District, and Ridge. You feel me? But they know me. They know me all over the city. I'm from one block on the city. They know me yeah. on every block. So that's why I named it Came From Nothing. You feel me? Then um, Beat The Odds, that was like a mixtape on some, like, some fun shit. I named it Beat The Odds because I lost a lot of homeboys to the grave and so, You feel me? And it's just like this shit came a long way. We came far with it. So I feel like I beat the odds. Like where we come from is really a trap. Like it's mm. really a trap. Like mm. it's designed for us to fail, honestly. Yeah, it is. It that's is. how I look at it for real. Like. Like even with even like with like carrying like protection around, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. in the city we live in, it's like it's needed. But it like it's like if you get caught with it, mm-hmm. you fail. If yeah. you get caught without it, you fail. So it's like a lose yeah. lose situation for yeah. real, you feel me? Then um I had uh I think I skipped a couple, but I'm going to like the most recent one. Note the self was I ain't gonna lie, I lost myself. I was lost for like 2018, 2019, 2020, I was like lost. Like I had a baby for real, so it was like. What, was, what is that? The what, is this something else that made you feel lost? Is that the only reason? Just because you had a baby? Yeah, was like it was like, stuff going around. around yeah, you? like the, like the stuff everybody go through for real. Like like losing people that you close to for real, like to death through the mm-hmm. streets. You feel me? And then it's like I had a baby, so it was like I was losing my focus for real. Like on music, like it looked good, but like we make it look good, but niggas human too. Like we ain't superheroes, bro. Like we go do stuff, everyday stuff. You feel me? So it's like some that sometimes that shit'll get in the way. Like even like not 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 for me though, but like for the money. Like mm-hmm. everything costs, bro. Like every single thing costs in music, bro. Like the videos, everything, yeah, everything. your swag, beats. everything, beats, everything. You feel me? So it's like I had lost myself for a second, but now it's like I had looked in the mirror for real. I looked in the mirror. That's why I didn't know the self like. I looked up and I'm realizing like like time going past me for real. You feel me? So it's like basically looking in the mirror like note to self like you was you little Chris bro like you underrated Chris bro like a lot of people grew up on your shit bro like remember mm-hmm. who you is and so now it's the reinvention. It was just note to self like I'm seeing who I'm is now the reinvention like all right I'm still him but I'm gonna be more up to speed with this shit. This ain't no high school shit like you feel yeah, me? Yeah. We older now. Yeah. Um. Talk about some of the key moments that you had. Like I remember, where take it, you you kind of skip over notes itself. Like what what were some of the notes that you gave to yourself? Like what, what? Um, note itself, like uh, apply pressure number one. Mm-hmm. And you know what was the reason that they? What was the reason that you you came up with the name underrated? Like you know why you came up with underrated, bro? Cause your shit is hard, harder mm-hmm. than a lot of niggas who getting more bump than you. You feel me? So. Yeah. It's just like that for real. Like you know what you work hard for. Why I let it go down the drain? Mm-hmm. Wake up, reality mm-hmm. check. Get back to it. That's why I didn't know the self for real. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. That's 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 a lot. That's that's a lot. That was a little. That's a little rant right there. That was yeah. that was kind of perfect. A good a good description on like the past. Like you're kind of a storyline. You just kind of. Right. You do you do you do you purposely try to tell a story every like I know you do tell stories in your songs too. Like, yeah. You're big on storylines. Talk talk about like. What inspires you to do stories like that? Um, it's really like, like I'm, I'm I I grew up off of like different type of music, like most most people my age for real or like I'm gonna say the 2000s babies and up they probably ain't gonna know none of this shit like Juvenile, Two Partner, yeah. like they always excuse, they always told stories for real so I just always like got inspired by it. 
I got inspired by it for real. Feel me? So that's how that that's how that went down for real. Like Tupac storytelling made me want to just tell my story for real. Mm-hmm. I like how they put it together. Mm-hmm. So that's how do, it you, is. do you still like that's the type of music that you listen to, Lacey? Like you yeah, it's to. on my playlist. It's on my playlist. Tupac. I don't really like Biggie for real. Tupac. I feel like you got like one or the other. But Biggie mm-hmm. is the East Coast nigga. Yeah. Like, we East Coast. We all fuck mm-hmm. with Biggie. But, but you know, like we, I'm actually from West Baltimore. And he always clapping West Side. So it's like <laughs> yeah, fuck that I'm shit. Yeah, you, pop, right. you feel me? You right. You right. Yeah. But it's like I got I got a lot of old old school people. Hot boys number one for real. Hot boys, mm-hmm. um, Tupac. It's a couple people for real from back in the day. I like older music nowadays. It's like all this shit just like recycled. It sounds just the same. Yeah, for real. it sounds same. It's yeah, you know, the game yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it's always like it's like a seasonal thing with the game. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to me about staying staying staying. Not more so. I don't want to not necessarily. Staying relevant, but staying up to the times, but trying to keep. Tell me about that um, in the studio, like like ever. Do you feel like you're changing your style? Yeah, hell yeah. Like I, it's like my old style, my old identity. To me, I don't know how it is. Like from somebody on the outside looking in, but for me, I feel like my old style is more so like down music. If you get what I'm saying, like mm. like like depressing music for real. You feel me? I feel like I talked about that shit enough for real. Like I got bright days too, not just no rainy days, you feel me? So it's like, now I'm on some more turnt type shit for real. And they like that. I've been paying attention, like, that's what they catching on to for real. So I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, for real. Put that shit in their face. Okay. Now, while these while these guys are here to talk about, how did you meet these guys? Um, My man, Trey, for real. We, we met, like, doing some business for real on the music tip for real. And, like, uh... I I already was doing my thing for real, and I like soon I seen him though. I was already in like in that rebuilding phase for real, cause I just had lost my best friend aunt for real. So it was like I was already in that rebuilding phase, and like I told you, I listen to all old school people for real. I studied them too, like how like um Wayne got young money mm-hmm. with Nicki and Drake, how he got them where they need to be. You feel me? Like I don't mind stepping back to let my nigga shine for real, cause at the end of the day, all are shine together when you mm-hmm. do it like that. So it's like like Gotti, like what Gotti doing right now. Mm-hmm. Like I look up to all them type of people for real. Like yeah. so it's like when I when I had that Draper, I was like, um, I told you Wayne the big inspiration. So it was like, this nigga light skin, it's the pretty boy light skin. Yeah, he he light talked skin. that shit. He yeah, got that look, style. Look, 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 look at my girl, even the punch <laughs> nigga. <ain't> yeah, <laughs> like, like he different. Like he just different. That's how I would think. Like bro, he different, bro. Like even like the harmonizer shit, my first auto turn, he helped me. He, he helped you do that. Yeah, he like dumb oh, boy oh, he, like he, this. He, he be singing. Yeah, he do it all. Like, but that tune shit, that harmony shit, like, he ain't no R&B nigga, but I'm saying, like, he do the melody shit, that melody shit. Yeah, I understand, I understand. So it was like, when I seen that for I was like, because it started, we just going to do one song together. I was like, dummy, what you think about fucking with us, bro? He was like, yeah, I'm with it. When he said that, I I had in my head, like, I don't just want to say it. I want to show him results for real. I want him to really know, like, I'm dead serious. And that shit does that shit instantly worked his first video with his hit 200k Heart of a Lion out right now like 200k out, right k out the mud we don't buy views bro we hustle for this shit for real bro for it's, real. A, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a sound effect you're not gonna hear it mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why I think. but um talk to me about you said we, we, i'm still want to get on talk about the album i still want to talk about the album how long did it take you to make the whole reinvent invention album not long honestly honestly i wasn't even gonna drop no album bro i just did it because i felt like I was dropping a lot of videos back to back, and after a while, that's like people probably like, I want to hear some um, new body of work for real. So I just did it like that. That's why on this tape, I really, I really did it like on some network and shit for real. Like that's why I got so many features on there for real. Cause this like just the tape, just the, just to get back in the mix with this shit for real. Like that's why I reached out to everybody like on some network and shit. Yeah, Marlo, all them features on there. Yeah, my little. But it's a game plan behind that. It ain't just a project. It's a game plan behind that for real. Like, what's one of your I'm favorite missing. people? To, what's one? What was one of your favorite? One of the now. I don't. I don't want you. To, I don't want you to have to pick between your favorite uh, on the f- favorite features on the. Let album. me. Let me. I want to shout out my artists. My uh, my my guys too. They not artists. They my brothers, bro. You feel me? Like like Dre, Two Raw Quan, Underrated Tide. I got a little Q bed. That's a young boy for real. You feel me? Like we building, bro. Like we a family, bro. Ain't no artists. Ain't no bosses. Of course, underrated is me because I'm the originator, but this all that shit, bro. If I step back, my man will hold it down for me. Okay. For real. Who the best, who the, who you have the best chemistry to, in the studio to work with? 
Like, who you think you had the best chemistry with? Like, who was your Shaq? I feel you like you're talking about all of them or, like, everybody. I mean, just album. when you, all the people you collab with to be in the studio with. Who's History been, in my whole career. Who the feel like you had the best chemistry with, nigga? Yes. Uh, shit, Scooter. <laughs> okay. Scooter. That is a good answer. But at the Scooter, it will be Dre. Okay. Now, at Dre, it would be Ty. The reason I say it would be Dre because I feel like when I, when I get on there with Ty, mm-hmm. Ty going to take me on the track. Like, mm-hmm. I know I got to just straight get on there talking that shit, like. You know what I mean? We out. Mm-hmm. We doing this. We doing that. When I get on that with Dre, mm-hmm. I can give him, I can give him a club song. I can give him a lady song. Whatever. He gonna be versatile with me for real. That's hard. But all my niggas, all my niggas like that though. I have fun with everybody though. But that's the order though. It's gonna be school to Dre and Ty. Shit. Okay. That's that's a good list. I ain't I ain't wanna have to. But all right. Yeah. Let's get to the next question. I wanna talk about your recording process. When you when you go into the studio and you start recording, like what do you what do you what's your pregame? Like do you take a shot? Do you you know what I mean? You roll up. Mild. You know I don't, I don't really smoke. I smoke when I'm in the booth. I don't smoke every day though. I can control my shit. I'm a drink. Oh, that's why. I, see when I ask for the drink right here. Yes, me? sir. This episode is brought to you yeah. by <laughs> Tequila <laughs> Baby. Yeah. I got uh. But when I go in there though. I got to have my mouths, I got to have waters, and probably like some little gummies or something. It's people that's not from Baltimore watching. It's black and miles. Black and miles, yeah. Black and miles. Well, you got the, where's the explanation? Well, you, you brought the black yeah, in. Yeah, black and miles. You got to have one of these in the pool. If I had the pack, I'd smack that bitch too. <laughs> 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 you feel me? Yeah, that's it. Niggas, like, you know how, like, we don't, like, I don't, we don't, really, I don't really like girls in my session. Because I mm-hmm. feel like that shit be a distraction for real. And I don't really like too many niggas either for real. That's an honest like, answer. Yeah, like if girls in the ass feel like, I ain't going to be focused. I'll probably be focused on her more than this song. For like real. shorty, I'm over here trying to rap about the block, all that ass. Especially if she not into it with me. Like, bitch, if I say something hard, bitch, you better let me know that ball hard. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Don't they can't even, they not even thinking about that shit. They not even thinking about that shit. And if I go in there with the guys, like, it probably just be me and probably like, Another head, like three, probably the max in my session. Cause if it's too many heads, it's gonna be too much going on. Mm, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I want, I, I, we in there, bro. Let's be in there, bro. Let's not waste no time for real. You feel me? Okay, let's let's take a break from the work. Let's take a break from the career. Yeah. So you wake up on a Friday night. You got you got some money to spend. Where you going? You you throwing some dollars on some hoes or my what? daughter? I'm throwing money with my daughter. <laughs> okay, my baby, bro. Priorities, bro. You feel me? Like that's little boy shit, like. You gotta think, bro. We throw some money at hoes, bro. They gonna be there for the moment. Then when we leave, they going to the next wave. Yeah, they are. I'm not wasting my money on dances no more. You feel me? I never really did, but if I'm down there, we getting paid to be down there. Any strip show. I just had a strip club performance this year. I got paid for that. We ain't just down there doing that for real. But I support them, though, but I just don't this, really. This, this is a side question. Keep it, honey. Do, 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 do you still be performing, shit, Keeper? Bro, it's like, that sound like. Do you like it? <laughs> I don't even like it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like it, bro, but it's like popular <laughs> demand, bro. Like, it's like by popular demand. So you like, like having to? If I, if I got a crowd, I know it's females, I know I got to do they, it. They have to do it. <laughs> I know I got to do it. But that I can say, though, I don't like that song, but that's the song that to get the most... Re, like, like the, the crowd the with crowd me. jumping crowd control yeah. she keep but I ain't gonna lie that's to hard that's I mean talk about honestly I don't want to take you back because you said you don't like that song talk about the process like who like how how she did you get that I'm saying I don't I said I don't want to take you back to there but if you're comfortable answering the question how bro, like, like the process with genius, that song bro, coming like, out genius, did you bro. write that song the bro, whole song of a bro. <laughs> look bro it's keep like it I had an original version on, on I'm Me Volume Two it was just me for real uh-huh. but uh. When I, I wanted to do a song with all of them individually. Like, I wanted to do a song with Zaya. I wanted to do a song with Infinity and Sneaky T individually. I kept on running to them. And it was like, yo, I want to do a song with y'all. But I was thinking, like, I'm not ready to do a song with all y'all, bro. When all y'all, people were already thinking y'all beefing. Like, people <laughs> already thinking y'all compete with each other. All right, this is a game plan. This is the perfect chance. I got a relationship with everybody. This is a perfect chance to really. I didn't think they was going to do it, though. I ain't going to lie. I thought one of them was going to be like, no, I can't get on there with her or something. You know how girls be, bro. Like, girls are always in competition with each other. So it had it um I had Zaya was on there by herself at first. Mm-hmm. And then I put I put Infinity No, I put Infinity on there second. Sneaky T, this one Sneaky T was really Sneaky T. She mm-hmm. really had bitches wanting to walk like her. I lost, talk like I lost her. a couple hoes to Sneaky T. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it honey. <laughs> so you know like Sneaky T was in her bag, so it's like that was the one I really was like, damn, if I can pull this off, my arm's strong. You heard me. 
I sent it to her, bro. We all went in the booth together, bro. And you did. I was thinking, like, damn, that's love for real. But like I'm telling you, that goes. It's like hand in hand, like with the reinvention project, bro. All that is like networking and game planning, bro. It's like a strategy, like how DJ Cali do. Mm-hmm. You put this motherfucker on this beat. And this motherfucker on this beat, you know this bitch is gone. You know, you knew, you knew what to do. Yeah, like you know I do. got a song pop out. Okay. It's a networking song. Like it's not just oh, my song. Oh, it's networking, oh, oh. bro. Oh, I was just yeah. listening to that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just I did. All the, this I heard shit, the 808s again. Yeah, yeah, all this shit is a game plan, bro. Like music is a business, bro. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I, if I got a relationship with you, I got a relationship with you. Like I fuck with Elite and I fuck with Chop, bro. But at the end of the day, I knew that that was gonna benefit all of us. That's why I reached out to them because they my, they my real friends. Like, I fuck with them outside of me the chop one. You know, Leek was on here before. Yeah, that's my nigga. I fuck with y'all. I fuck with Leek heavy, and chop with chop on my blood for real. You need I, I need to get chop on here too. I haven't haven't got him on here yet. You gotta make that happen. What's some of the people? If you were to give give me a, a list a list of people to interview, who should I interview? I'm biased, bro. I only listen. <laughs> I only listen to me and mine, bro. Like so I'm gonna say I mean, Dre. Okay. Young Dre, underrated top. Okay. Two yeah. raw Quan, Cube. But if you don't want me to be biased, you gotta get chopped on here next. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I say that's one, but I don't really follow you about that. So this on camera. Yeah, so if you see this nigga, you, you have to right come on God. here. God. God. Josh, am I right? He back there. He's still on the ones on Tuesday. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back to the. Let's get back to the. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the questions though, bro. Cause you didn't ask me the same shit, bro. Like you, I like. I like what you doing. Like you did your homework. You studied. I like it. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's not even like I'm studying. I'm. It's like it's I've been natural. listening to you. Yeah, it's natural. I've been listening to you, nigga. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Appreciate that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to talk about. Oh uh, shit. I want to talk about Conda. Kinda like, like you said, your process. Um, give for other artists that's watching this that want to be an artist and kind of like, you know, what I mean, kind of look up to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of give them what's what's some of the key things they should keep that should put in that song. Like what's coming? Like if you had to give somebody a tips on making songs, you know what I mean? It got it got it got be like a feeling for real, like a feeling. But like, don't. Don't be too emotional with it, or don't put your feelings into every like into it too much. Like, only one get away with that shit to me is Raw Wave. Like, keep making all them depressing songs. That nigga had me now. He the only one. Yeah, he the only one. You feel me? But I feel like, like if I'm gonna tell the artist, bro, like, number one, you gotta have the right beat because sometimes the beat make the song for you. You can say anything on that bitch if your beat tight. Niggas drugged out nowadays. They just wanna hear hard ass beat, bro. Honestly, they just wanna hear that dum Real you shit. Yeah, for sure. So and how I pick my beats though, how I pick my beats like soon to come on. If I if it catch me soon to come on, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's it. But if I gotta be like, like no, no, I don't want that one. But mm-hmm. as soon to come on, I, I I just start doing that though. I like now I like my beats is just straight boom come with the bass instead of building up. Mm-hmm. I like that bitch just to come straight in with the bass now. You know, you give them that shit straight up. Mm-hmm. Well, that's 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 honest. Okay, this this is this is a question. This is aside from anybody watching this. This is a question I have personally for me and you. Yeah. You know, um, I ha- I don't have any kids. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, hopefully all of us have a day where we can let our kids play together. Yeah. What what is some advice? To, what how has fatherhood been to you? Fatherhood is like, it's the best thing that happened to me for real because it's like, I make better decisions now. And like, like even like what you saying with the strippers, like, come on, I'm gonna pick my daughter over a stripper any day. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, like, but I, I, I like it because, bro, like, you can be down, you can be broke as a bitch, and your child gonna still look at you like Superman. You feel me? So I like that shit. That shit really make me feel good, bro. Like that shit make me feel good. That shit make me feel better than anything, bro. Just like have somebody that really depend on you. Feel me like that really depend on you. Like when you, even though I'm rapping and shit, bro, and I'm probably like a public figure for real. Sometimes I be feeling like I ain't here. You feel me like like mm. I'm only I'm only valuable like when it's necessary. But my daughter, she make me feel like Everything. I'm always I'm always I'm always needed. You That's feel me? beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Hell yeah. What's what's some of the what's some of the what's some of the key key terms that you would tell a a younger a new a younger father? Um, put your child first. Put your child first. Like, don't go get them joys if you can't get them from you and your child. You feel me? Leave them joys right there if you can't get them from you and your child. Save your money. Feel me? And just 
be there be there for the small things like the small things that that's really count bro like the small things bro it ain't really about no money it ain't really about like materialistic stuff because i used to think i had the best father in the world bro you feel me mm-hmm. but as i got older i realized like i really didn't because only thing he really did was bought me everything mm-hmm. but i'd rather get your time spend time yeah. with me instead of money you feel me time more important than money with kids bro i swear okay yeah Shit. um okay we need to, we we need to we need to like we need to brighten it up. We need to brighten it up. So what 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 type of what type of nigga was you? You you said you said I remember you was talking about this not high school no more. What type of nigga was you in high school? In high, you know I uh I wish I would have stayed in high school. I I'm, I miss school. Period. I miss that shit. Like half of the people you go to school with, you don't even see them once you out of school. And yeah. that that be the best times of your life, bro. Like when you in school, cause you get to see everybody. You get with niggas, bro. Oh, you getting in there? You mm-hmm. feel me? But it's like um, I only I ain't, I, I, I stopped going to school in ninth grade because I started getting hot on the music shit. For real. Mm. So it's like, I, how can I do that? Like, mm. how the fuck can I do that? Like, how the fuck I'm gonna go to school and still be trying to rap? Like, I could have did it, but it's like the point like, shit start being like hard monitors and all that shit. Like, start letting me have my way up there. And mm. if it ain't no rules, bro, it's like I'm doing anything I want, and I don't yeah, like that in school. You feel me? If you get everything you want, then yeah. some shit fin to something. Yeah, that shit was funny. And then it's like, even when, even like, you know, we in Baltimore, bro. So you gotta think like, if I'm going to school and shit, it's like, that's an easy. Even though I'm good, I walk around here. I, I, I believe in God. I walk with God. But I'm saying like, school. That's a location for a nigga. Just do anything in school. Mm-hmm. Catch you the hell bad to that motherfucker. You heard me? You know that's nigga, his schedule. Nigga, you know he gonna go to school. Go nigga, I got robbed. I, the, the, the only time I ever got robbed is because a nigga got a nigga follow me from the from the yellow bus. Yeah. For real? That's yes. What I'm that's what I'm saying. From bro. school. I feel like if you if you doing something like that's in this cat like in this lane like entertainer. No matter what you're doing, like if you really doing something and it's working for you, I feel like you need to go to a private school or like home school. Not on no scary shit, but just like. Just so you can focus. Other than that, you not gonna focus, bro. There's no way you gonna focus if you hot in school. Mm. I was hot before rapping, though. You feel me? But it's different when I start rapping. It's like it was extra more attention on me now. So it's like, mm. how the fuck I'm gonna do my work? bro? Well, it was kind of the, like you said. It was it was hella more attention. You got hella bitches coming at you. No, and no. All let, that. Me, <laughs> let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. You said it was hella more. You said it was hella more attention to you. Tell me about the difficulties from like living the you know like being just a regular nigga to having quote unquote all that attention on you. Yeah. Tell me the, some of the difficulties that that came with. Um, fake love, bro. Fake love, bro. Like, bro, you don't even you don't even know if a if your man's like you don't even know if your man's like really with you because of you feel me or they with you because of the line like female. I feel like I ain't gonna never find real love, bro. Like, cause I don't. You know. honestly feel like that? Yeah, bro. Especially in Baltimore, bro. Or for the or no matter how far I go, bro. I felt like if I was gonna find real love, I would. It, it should still be with me. Cause right now it's like how I know that she ain't with me because of this. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, it's hard. Was, was she let this? Was she let a random nigga get her? Like a yeah. nigga that ain't know his shit get her? You heard what Drake said? Like, what would I do if my name was Ed? Real shit. And bro. I drove a truck. Real <laughs> shit, bro. That's real shit, though, bro. Like, that's why I be tripping on them celebrities. Like, how is y'all really in love, bro? Y'all ain't never go through no struggles together. Yeah, that Kim K, Kanye West shit. That shit be crazy. Is is fake? Is the, the propaganda, nigga? That shit is. Yeah. However you want to call it, but. Really we need to be. I don't want name drop, bro. But I really had like she wasn't know how shit how she is now, but she do hair in the city and shit, right? Uh huh. She hot now. Okay. But I had her say she want. I still got the, the screenshots, my DM and all that. I heard her say she want do a publicity stunt with me back in the day. Publicity stunt. Yeah, but I want like what? It. Like what? Was she like? He was like she was pregnant with your baby or something? No, she wanted a boyfriend and girl like relationship for real. Oh, a, a fake relationship. I'm gonna show y'all. Show y'all. Show y'all. <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> but I wasn't with it though, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. I was like, huh? Wow. Cause that's fake. I feel like it's fake. You feel me? Like. <laughs> And even Me. like yeah, I, I feel you can't you know, but uh, we we both we all niggas from yeah. from a, from a from a certain place that makes yeah. certain type of niggas like us. So we can't just be regularly doing fake shit like that. You know, yeah, sure. it's hard yeah. for us to do fake shit like that. Okay. Um, talk about talk about where where you're from. Like I know it's like a regular question. Like, oh, where yeah. you grew up? Where you from? Like how 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 was it growing up for you? Like how how was you know, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel like every I'm from I'm from um Sandtown, West Baltimore. Zone 17, but I feel like everybody neighborhood is the same, bro. Like, if you in the city, I'm gonna see that. If you in the city, I feel like everybody neighborhood is the same way. Everybody around drugs, 
everybody around like killings, everybody around like junkies and shit like that. Like it's like normal for real. Like it, it, it's sad that we saying that. Yeah, yeah it's normal. crazy that, but that's what yeah. it is though. Like everybody, yeah. everybody from Baltimore watching this, like yeah, I'm definitely used to walking down the street yeah. seeing the like, needle. We from different hoods, bro. Like we all are from different hoods, but I guarantee you, my hood. It's fucking twins to the hood. Like everything yeah. is the same, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not. It's not. It's it's all. If all of us from Baltimore, yeah. it's no purpose for us to try to have like a struggle war. Tell us we've been from the, all of us from the same all shit. From you know what I mean? Real shit. Talk mm-hmm. about. Uh, let's get back into the music. Let's get back into yeah. the music shit. What the what? How do you when you go back to the studio and you listen to the beats? Like how do you pick a beat? Is it like a? Is it like you listen to the first three seconds like all right that let me just run it up or you listen yeah. or you like you hold on to beats or it got hit me bro it talk got about hit me your like, songwriting you got like lately I've been I ain't gonna lie lately I've been punching in like when this reinvention shit I really been going there and punching in but it's it's better when you punch in instead of writing because when you punch in you can say whatever kind of your mind when you writing it's like you can come fully in off the vibe yeah that shit like that shit like it it be it be it be cool writing but. It's just something about writing now that really it just like take too much time, bro. Niggas getting rich off a a, a minute and thirty second song nowadays. TikTok, TikTok, fuck the game up. Like thirty seconds, I'm not ready to take my time and write. You feel me? Niggas getting rich off fifty second songs. No, for real. No, but yeah, look, like the beats, bro. Like the beats, and like I told you, I study a lot of greats, so like they motivate me. Yeah, I I go in that bitch and put Tupac in the studio and get motivated and want to go to the studio and do what he did. You, you definitely, this is definitely a, a different interview because I've had interviews and a nigga told me like, yeah, like Playboy Cardi is, is what inspired me. Playboy Cardi? Bruh. I don't even know one Playboy Cardi song, bro. Bruh. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Niggas really be inspired from this industrial like bullshit. But he made it, though. A lot of the big rappers, too. Yeah, he made it, so I'd be inspired, too. He got money. How do you feel about that whole, like, Satan, like, Illuminati shit? Like, Man, I feel rappers like- doing that shit? I feel like that's the reason I want to thug it out as long as I can, bro. I hang some of my soul for this. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, hell no. Get this light skin ass out of here. <laughs> I can't sign my soul for it, bro. Listen, bro. Let me tell you why I can't sign my soul with it, bro. Because, like, it's like all I got. Like, I lost so much, bro. So all I got is, like, everybody's close to me. I want them close to me. I can't sacrifice nobody for no fucking music, bro. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, for this, real. I did this shit just because I like this shit. I didn't, I didn't think this shit was going to go this far, so I ain't going to do all that. <laughs> no, I can't do it, talk bro. About, talk about, like you said, like you said, you lost a lot of people and things like that. Yeah. For people, for the people out here listening. Everybody took losses, though, bro. You feel me? No, I, no, I understand yeah. that. For the people out there listening, it's a lot of people that is still dealing with loss and still, and still having losses yeah. themselves. Talk about some of the things that help you deal with those losses and, like, what, what, like how have you dealt with you those got, losses? You just got, well, me personally, how I look at it, like, you got... Like, damn, how would such and such feel? Like, what would he want me to do? You feel me? Like, damn, like, I know he'd want me to do this. Or, that's no reason I get inspired too on music for real, because I make songs and I play my bitch back. Like, damn, I know my man to really be cutting to this bitch. Like, so, like, you can't let that shit get to you, bro. But you can deal with it, like, privately, bro. But, like, at the while, you got to let it go, because life goes on, bro. Feel me? Somebody die every day, somebody born every day. Literally, bro. Like, if you let that shit get the best out, you gonna start losing weight and everything, bro. Like, no, I fuck no. Losing weight, like stressing and shit behind that shit, depression and shit, real, bro. Like, that shit real, bro. And when, shit, yeah, depression shit. is a motherfucker. Facts. <laughs> I feel like everybody in Baltimore can talk about how so they lost somebody yeah. to some somebody else's hand yeah. and dump some bullshit. That shit, like, it's like the norm now, no, bro. Like, I remember one time it was like. If somebody get killed or something, it was like shocking. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's not shocking no more. Bro. It wasn't honestly. It might sound. This might sound breaking and shit like that. But yeah. the way Baltimore been recently, yeah. when they said when they said President Davo and shit, like I'm just like, yo, it's just like it's normal. Yeah, but Davo, I ain't gonna lie with Davo yeah. though. I ain't gonna speak too much on that. that ain't my business. But Davo, he was he was he was he from my gen, he from my class. Like I look at it like it's classes in this shit. You know me, him, Scooter. We are the originals for real. So the like original originals. Yeah. So I, I felt that. Yeah, I felt that. I was like, I was like, damn, like, damn, bro, like, that could have been me. You feel me? That's how I look at it. Like, and he got kids for real. So it's like, that's fucked up. Like, that's really fucked up, bro. But you just gotta be careful out here, bro. Talk about some. I know this is this is. I know it's a lot of up and coming rappers. 
and they would love to hear the answer to this question. Yeah. What is some what were, what are some of your favorite rappers of what were some of your favorite moments of being like a rapper? Like be like, yo, I, you know what I mean? The, 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 uh, favorite moments of favorite being, moments is like you know, the high the highs of it all that you're you're up and coming. Somebody self somebody knowing your music, bro. They don't have to do that, bro. Like, they don't have to <laughs> listen to you. You feel me? Like, real shit, bro. There's so many other artists, bro. So, like, we though, like, somebody really know your music. That's the best feeling ever. Then, like, that's the best feeling ever. Like, getting tagged and shit on Instagram, listening to you. Like, that shit motivate me, that's bro. Good. Yeah. That's it good. Yeah. All right, I don't, I don't want to keep sniping these questions at you. I'm about to I'm, lay I'm here, bro. I'm about to, I'm, I'm kind of shoot some questions at, you, at this yeah, light skin yeah, motherfucker yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, what you doing over there, nigga? What you doing over there on the phone, nigga? Cool, on uh, Instagram, you know, challenge. You challenge. said you rapping too. How long you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was like fourteen. Great. Ah, uh, that's like what? That's ten years. I'm twenty four now. And how long have you? No underrated. I was I started fucking with Chris when I was like sixteen. How uh, when I was like sixteen, so seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, and three, and four. It's been like eight. Damn, it's been like eight years now. Oh uh, yeah, it's been like eight years. My daughter's six. Mm-hmm. I should tell you something. And I got a baby on the way too. The end of this month. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Talk about talk about some talk about some of your um your favorite your not even not some of your favorite moments like you with with underrated like what was what was what some of your memorable moments like yo I need to stick by this nigga this nigga a real nigga like yo we like we done been through hell of shit like I done been through some crazy shit like. I can't even name one specific one. Like we got so many, so many memories. Like it's you can't it's, name one. Just one good funny story. I like just one, need one. All right. So a, a good funny story. Whereas though, like it made me realize, like this really, like my brother type shit. That's what you asking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hard. Man, that's all. all right, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all. Question. All right. Look. Right. It's one time. I can't say that. I can't say that. Uh, hey, I can't say it. We don't do indictments. We do clicks over here, man. Right. Don't do that shit. Let me think. Let me think. That's a good question, yo. We got so many memories, yo. I don't know. It probably, one, it, probably be, it probably be like the first, the first studio session that like we ever had for real. Like we was doing a feature. I was doing a feature with him. And he, yeah, we was at uh, we was at C four shit. And he was like, he was like, bro, you hard, bro. He was like, what you would say if I asked you, would you want to be underrated? And I was like, come on. And he was like, come on. And we was locked in ever since. But, like, he the first one to really, like, show me how to, like, do this music shit. Like, like you got to think he been doing it. You feel me? Like, way before I was even, like, way before I even started. So, like, he was, like, he like a mentor and, like, he like a mentor slash like manager to me type shit. You feel me? Like aside from like being my family type shit. You feel me? Like he really put me on game. Really showed me shit like how to promote myself on Instagram type shit and all that shit. Like it was just it ain't even no certain like certain memory. It's just like the bond, like the type bond we got for real. I don't got a bond with like nobody else. You feel me? That's what make it. That shit make it different. God damn. Very that's shit. that's 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 a good answer. Okay, okay, you can talk to the mic back. You can talk. I just no, want I just want to see over there. Okay, let's get back. To, let's get back to the 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 interview. Yeah, the interview. Tell me about. I know, um, I know me personally. Um, I'm cool with I'm cool with Leek. He's a cool guy. Talk about that collaboration with him. The beat. Um, I was we just I just was, I had a beat, bro. Like I had a I had a whole different um a whole different flow on there for real. And it's like, uh, when I heard the beat though, I was in there with me and my man Underrated Ty, Two Rock Kwan. We was in there mm-hmm. and we was just, you know, like one and like, you probably don't, you make music? Yes. All right. So you know, like, you just want to go to the booth one day and just record. You ain't write nothing or none of that. Mm-hmm. So it was one of them sessions for real. I'm like, yo, put a beat up, put a beat on. For real. And I just like, come on. We supposed to be doing a song for real, mm-hmm. but niggas were trying to do a song with a hook and shit. I was mm-hmm. like, man, that shit taking too long. Let's just, just hop on, dummy. I don't got no hook, dummy. Hop on, Ty. So I hop on, like, you know, I hop on, and then I just start hearing different sounds. Like, bro, he'll tell you, bro, first hand, like, when it comes to the music, shit, bro, like, I got that vision. I mean, I lied to you, but not. I could tell. So he was, he was, he was out his shit. He was out his shit for real. And, um, 
I had I already had him in mind regardless. Whatever we do, he gonna be a part of regardless. So I was like, uh they thought it was just gonna be like an underrated song, which is like me, Ty, Dre, and Quan. Mm. But I was like, no, I mean we got that's like that ain't gonna really do nothing because all I got the same fan base. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So I was like, yo, we got we gotta reach out. You feel me? These niggas don't like reaching out. They they don't be fucking with that shit. Like, but me, I've been around it so long, so I know it. Like, a nigga only tell you that's so no. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So I had hit Chopo and Leak back to back on Facetime. Like, no, I got something for you. But they never knew all of them was on the song though. Okay. So when they heard that bitch, they're like, I got you. <laughs> Chopo got me that bitch fast. That's hard. Leak got me that bitch fast. Boom. Even the order, like the order that is in and all that, bro. Yeah. Like, that bitch was like, I put it together like that, bro. Like. I'm you like, say I want him right here, him right there, him right there, him right there. I'm like, you feel me? That shit be good. That shit be fun to me. That type okay. of shit. Yeah. So you say, you say that. I mean, not not even you say. You you are the person that like you say you can. You're not. You don't just think of temporary. Like you can see the vision. Yeah. And it takes it takes that type of shit to have longevity. To have to be in to be to be popular as long as you've been. You know what yeah. I mean? It takes that to the type. So tell me about for for younger up and coming artists. What would you tell them about having the longevity? Like, what are some of the keys that you, you never know what I mean? never get comfortable, bro? Mm-hmm. Never get comfortable. There's always somebody out here trying to take your spot. Even if they ain't trying to take your spot, it's always somebody out here that can replace you. Is what I'm trying to say. Like always be on your shit, bro. Like always be on your shit for real. But like I, people always ask me this, bro. They be like, "How do I do this?" Or yo, "How do I? How do I get hot?" I can't really explain it, bro. Cause I told you like I been had I been had clout before music. So it's like I think that worked out on my favor for real. Plus, in like in 2023 with TikTok and shit like yeah. that shit, when I can't. Nobody can tell anybody how to get that shit. Right, real shit. Like it's hard to tell somebody because everybody's situation different, bro. Hell yeah. I can tell you everything I ever did in this shit. That don't mean it's gonna work for you. How it worked for me? Exactly. It's mm-hmm. Especially if it's like a white kid from Tennessee. Yeah. Hell yeah. And when I'm a nigga from the Jets. Hell yeah. How the fuck I'm gonna tell you? Real shit. Um, you, you, I know, I know you've been, I know you've been in, in the, in the situation with, from, um, you know, with, you have your, you said you've been an independent artist this whole time. Yeah, hell yeah. Talk about. I don't even want to sign, I used to want to sign, bro, but I don't want to sign for real because I feel like most people that sign for real, they get fucked over, bro. Like, they put you on a shelf or some shit. You really got to be like, had them numbers like on some little baby shit to really be successful in the industry, bro. I, I feel like, and I feel like it'd be a lot of gay shit going on in the industry, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do, bro. I ain't got nothing against that, though. Don't try to black no, bomb no. you and all of that. You don't gotta, you don't gotta preach that's it. what you like, that's what make your boat float. Keep, keep that shit. There. Keep that really, shit. I respect right over you, but keep it over there. Oh, see know? where he pointing at? Yeah. Keep it over there where he pointing at. You feel <laughs> me? Yeah, real shit. Keep that over there, but my, my, my fucking stepbrother is a, I don't want to say what's the right word to say. Like he like men. My stepbrother like men. You He's feel gay. Me? It's okay. Yeah, to that's say what gay. he do though. But I would never let nobody play with him. You know what I mean, yeah. I know what I like pussy. You feel me? But that's what he do. But I still want nobody play with him. Like if a nigga like men, as long as you respecting me and you know what it is, like don't disrespect me in no type of way. I don't have a problem with you. you feel me? Yeah, feel me? Yeah, real shit. Yeah, real shit. Yeah, it's just like, and it's just like I feel like the only problems that the problems that niggas to be having nowadays is just. It's just because niggas don't respect niggas. Real shit. It be them niggas that be like, no, oh, yo gay as shit, man. Get your away from me. They be the niggas that really faggies down low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, for get real. Get your away from me, bro. Get your away from me. Basically, the moral of the story, nigga, we see through you niggas. You know what I mean? Shit. Um, anything you want to tell? You got any? Y'all got any questions for me? Um, everything I do, bro. I just want to get the guys on here. Wanna get the guys on here, bro. Like, we just wanna stay busy. What you like to do though besides this, bro? Nigga, I make music too. Um, what's what type of style you got? I'm kinda like I kinda like try to be versatile. I try to I'm I'm not like a like a like a like a drill rapper or like a I kinda just just I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I'm kinda just be doing some shit. Yeah. You know, I'll be making my own beats too, so I kinda just kinda create a vibe. You got some beats? Of course I have some beats. You gotta send us something. If they not hitting, I got a beat you. for you, 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 <laughs> and you too, guys. Send them through. Send them through, bro. What type of styles you be speed for real? But I mean, it's it's. I feel like it's. I just kind of try to create the vibe. I just try to stay in the times, honestly. Mm-hmm. I try to and I try to keep the rich. You just try to keep a good bounce, honestly. I just Yo, try to you know vibes. one thing I noticed. I mean, like one thing I've been doing. Though, like I had a uh, network with the artist for real. It's a female too. Like, but like. I had went to one of her shows for real, like, 
And it was like a different type of show though, bro. Like all the artists in there, they was like, like, like different type of artists for real. Like on some, I can't even, I don't even know what type of artists they was, bro. You they, know what he talking about? They weren't like no, they weren't like us, like like street rappers and uh, shit. They was like, like like people that really like artists, like on some Jill Scott type shit. Jill Scott. Jill Scott, Scott. Erykah Badu, and, oh, and like like them type of vibes. You yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Like common. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. To say, it was like common in them, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I had I had took one of their beats and did it, bro. That shit turned that shit, out hard because it's like that's the what best of both worlds. Nigga, if I if I, I I've been working on this, I've been working on this like dance hall reggae beat. Yeah. Nigga, if I get one of them, yeah. if I get one of them underrated verses on yeah. it, mm, boy, it's gonna sound like mm. magic. All the Remember. pussies on around the around the yeah. world yeah. gonna get wet. Yeah, I can yeah. hear it already, but I mean, I'll send it to you later and after this. I ain't gonna lie though, I'm just telling you earlier. We have to tell you earlier, dummy, about the feel though. I said I don't even press for that shit no more. Done that shit. That shit ain't where it's at for real, bro. Like, what you mean? Like for chasing female and pussy and shit, bro. Like it's, that shit ain't where it's at, bro. But you, but only reason, honestly, I feel like the only reason why men be chasing women and pussy and shit is because, like, subconsciously, we all looking for that one perfect woman to yeah. set this whole shit for. I yeah. mean, most niggas can't probably admit that, but everybody want that shit. That's what oh, I want. Shit. I, think, I think it's the internet making these niggas do this. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. get no hoes from the internet. The internet, I mean, the internet, internet and these niggas were crazy over these females. I feel like you get that one girl, bro. I feel like you get that one girl, bro. And that you get that one girl, like with a clean slate, everything mm. else, you just going on and on for the ride, for real. Mm. That's how I post that. So you yeah. That's the one. Dog, when you fucked up and she there for you, she, that's the she, one. She, she right over there. So, uh, so, so oh, make sure she, um, she, uh, what you, uh, Sagittarius? <laughs> yeah, so make sure she a Sagittarius. Mm. That's your girl. Yeah, that's my girl. Okay, nigga. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. girl. She the brains. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Look how y'all hustling yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Look how they hustling. I like the, I like the team. Yeah. You heard me, about, nigga? That's what you need a hustler, bro. Y'all getting that shit, bro. I respect that, bro. I really like that, bro. Girls, females don't be on that, bro. Like females don't be on that, bro. Like. Mm-hmm. Real shit. Basically. Bro, it'd be crazy though, cause like you'll have a female, well your girl probably not like that. Clearly she not like that, but like I don't wanna really put it on me, but I'ma say in general. Just say it, nigga. If you popping, if you doing your thing in general, your girl will hate on you. Like if you get what I mean, like she don't want you to around this type of crowd, or like I had something icy on, she won't you you alright, yeah, it's cool. You bitch you know I like a bag of money right now. <laughs> you yo, they about? just be hating, yo. I feel like I feel like you don't have a real girl if she don't roll low keep be hating on you when you put that shit on. Bro, if your girl don't motivate you, bro, like 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 if you just sitting on your ass and your girl letting you sit on your ass, she not it, bro. That's not it, bro. It's not for you, bro. Your girl should always push you, bro. Like she should always push you, bro. So, so for the people out there, for the people out there watching, um, they probably they probably gotta y'all kind of watch this back three more times. Get your notepad, pen and paper. Hey. But make it simple for them. If you had to give them three things to take from this, from what we talking the about, the whole interview. What would you give them? Three things. Give them. Give it to them. Number one, put your family first. Your priorities first. Mm-hmm. Your family first. Priorities first. Number one. Number two, um, use use any losses that you took for motivation, bro. Like use that to push you, bro. That's what you need, bro. Like that that extra, huh? you feel me? Like that extra push. Uh, like when you feeling down, think about somebody that you lost and use that as motivation. Number three, stay focused. It's gonna be a lot of bullshit. No matter what you doing, no matter where you at, it's gonna always be some type of bullshit, bro. And you gotta be able to like stay on your shit, do it all, and like. The devil real, bro. You got if you believe in good, bro. You gotta know it's bad. bad yeah. If you believe in God, you gotta know it's the devil, bro. It's, he real and he try to bring you down for real. I ain't no big spiritual nigga, but it is what it Yo, is. Yo, niggas gotta hear it. Yeah, fuck, real fuck, shit. Fuck trying to be spiritual. Niggas yeah. gotta hear that shit. Yeah, real shit, bro. nigga. Get to God. Real get shit. Get away from that hoe. That's fucking. These bitches are the devil. You know the thing, though, niggas would be like, like niggas would be like. Come to God when like when they at their lowest or like when they in a fucked up situation. Think on when you up. Think on when you up too. Yeah, when you up, they'll be like, thank God. Yeah. Bro, I do that, bro. Like I do that, bro. Like like when I got like when I got something working my way, like even getting booked, like even getting booked for a show. Thank God. Thank you, God. Dropping a banger. When I drop pop out, I said, Thank you, God. The plan worked. You feel me? It worked. That's good. Like, like you gotta thank God when you up too, bro. Okay. That's it. All right, I think God just be here right now. 
Real shit, especially in Baltimore. This shit, Call of Duty. For real, this shit is crazy. All right, that's that was two things, nigga. We gotta let one more, one more. Then we wrapping it up. Take care who take care of you. you. Feel me? Like take care who take care of you. Loyalty, bro. Loyalty. You feel me? Be loyal to your niggas. Then be loyal to you, bro. It don't 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 never think it's all about you, bro. If you got you can't do it by yourself. You need a team. For real. That's real shit. Cause you get tired, bro. You feel me? I get tired and keep back. My, my niggas gonna fuck them up. <laughs> gonna fuck them you up. trust them enough. You don't yeah, even feel like yeah. you don't even feel like you. Bro, fuck no, bro. My niggas gonna fuck them up, bro. Like my niggas gonna fuck them up, bro. Like just take care of each other. That's all you gotta do, bro. Like that's all, bro. It's a relationship. It's just like a relationship for real. Take care of your partners. A lot of you not. Nah, the team, I need you best to keep it close all keep time close. Because it's a lot of cruddy niggas out here. Once af- afterwards, when the money rolling in, it's hard to find that. Number one over everything I just said, them three. Trust the process, bro. Like, trust the process. Nothing don't happen overnight. Nothing. This shit right here, bro, you can, you can be on a million dollar worth of game type level, bro. If you keep it going, you got to start somewhere, bro. It's going to get better, bro, if you stay consistent. See if we if, if we not million dollars that game, it's this twenty million dollars. Yeah, twenty million dollars. It's not. It's bigger than that. It's yeah. bigger than that. I but, like um, to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling you. <laughs> but, um, uh, this is the this is the Blazing Network, and this is the platform. You're welcome to come back anytime. If you just need to fart on the microphone and give it to the people, just come here and fart on my microphone. <laughs> Nigga. Follow my bike with Follow your kid. Um, hey, man. Man, you can find me on social media, on, on everything, every streaming platform, underrated Lord Chris. It's only one of me. It's a lot of Lord Chris's, but it's only one underrated. It's in the me? description, guys. Underrated, you're going to see the big hey, picture. Man. Stop playing. Give me your shit, dummy. Shit. Underscore Real Young Dre, underscore on the gram. Follow me on the gram. YouTube, Young Dre. Feel me, go turn into all the new music. We just dropped the tape. Feel me, go turn into bro shit, turn into my shit. Dreams to reality, underrated oh, shit. Man. We coming. Fuck that. Fuck that. What's, what's Josh shit? Here, Josh. You don't gotta be on the camera. Yeah. Fuck that. You gotta get my man Josh in there. Best camera man in the city. Best camera man in the city. J5 Flex on IG. Hit me J- up. J5 Flex. Hit me up anytime. Anytime. Hey. Anytime, baby. Yes. Okay. The, 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 the money right here. Hey. Out to me though, bro. Like it was cool though. I fuck with the vibe here though. You heard me? Why could why should I should have been reached out to you? Yeah, yeah. But it was perfect timing to go. I just dropped. You heard me? Yeah, that's Reinvention out now. Yes, it is. Lock in. And listen to specifically pop out. Mm-hmm. Listen to that three That's the single. That's the single. Oh god. I ain't following like that. I was gonna say, God damn, there ain't no mouth in here.